Let me start by saying we've all been there before. We've all experienced trouble with our internet connection. We've called our internet service provider and the first question they ask is, have you restarted your modem? I can hear it now. They ask, have you turned off your modem and turned it back on? The troubling thing here is that depending upon the make and model of your modem, it might not be as straightforward as it seems to restart it. The good news is, however, there's usually multiple ways that you can go about restarting your modem. And in this episode from Network From Home, I'll break down two different ways that you can restart your modem. I'll also talk about the benefits of periodically rebooting your modem and what it can do for your home network. With that, let's dive right into it. The first method for restarting your modem is the one that most people default to. I'm talking about going to the device itself and looking for a power button. So with that, let's take a look at my modem and see where the power button is and what we need to do to restart my modem. I have my modem here. You can ignore the lights. I just have it plugged in to show that it's currently on and getting power. But as you can see on the outside, it's not obvious where the power button is. We need to go to the back of the device. So let me give you a close up of that now. Okay, here we are. As you can see here, it's a very simple design, but down here at the bottom, there's a little push button that says on off. So if I go ahead and I press that once, and I turn the modem back around, you can see there are no lights on it. You've turned it off. Now to restart your modem, the best thing to do is to power your modem off, wait about 30 seconds, and then press the power again and waiting 30 seconds just ensures that the modem is being fully cleared of all power, all existing connections before it starts back up again. So with that, let's turn it back around. We've waited about 30 seconds. Let's push this button back in, flip it back around, and as you'll see, the power light is illuminated. It is going through the reboot process. Honestly, that's the quickest and easiest way to restart your modem. Again, you just want to make sure you wait about 30 seconds before powering the modem back on after you've turned it off. I've also seen online that some older versions of modems may not have a power button on the back. An alternative here, you can simply take the power cord. As you can see, my modem's on. You pull the power cord out, wait another 30 seconds, and then plug the power cord back in. This is effectively doing the same thing as pressing the power button on the device. So in taking the cord, plugging it back in, we'll see the power light again and we'll see that our modem is starting back up. So that's a good alternative if you don't have a physical button on your device. All right, this next method for restarting your modem, it's a little more creative. It involves accessing your modem settings and then telling it to restart from there. So with that, let me share my screen and I'll buzz through the procedure for how to do this. As I mentioned, I'll go through the procedure pretty quickly here, but if you're not sure how to access your modem settings, I've previously made another video on this topic. So I'll link to that up above and you can follow that procedure to access your modem settings. Okay, with that said, the first thing I need to do I need to open up an internet browser, so let me do that now. Okay, we have our internet browser open. We now need to enter the IP address of our modem, HTTP 192.168.100.1. I know that's the IP address of my modem. Again, in that previous video that I made, I detail how to go about determining what the IP address of your modem is. Okay, here's the login page for our modem settings. I'm going to enter my username and password to get to my modem settings homepage. Okay, from the homepage of your modem settings, it's pretty straightforward here. All we need to do is access the advanced tab. And then here you see we have the option to reboot our modem. So if I go ahead and select this, rebooting the gateway will disrupt active traffic on the network. Are you sure? Okay. And as you can see, it's going through the reboot sequence. And what does this mean? This means that I will lose my internet access while my modem reboots. Okay, so that's two different ways to restart your modem. 
As I mentioned previously, there are actually benefits to periodically rebooting your modem as well. This means every month, every few months, go ahead, restart your modem. What this will do is it will essentially refresh the connection that your modem has with your internet service provider. It pretty much gives it a clean slate to make sure that everything is running smoothly. Of course, this can also be done when you're having problems with your internet, and I'm sure this is the case that most people are familiar with. If you're having problems with your internet connection, sometimes all it takes is refreshing your modem's connection with your internet service provider in order to fix it. And a simple restart will do just that. The challenge, if you wanna periodically restart your modem, is that you can't go into your modem settings and tell it to periodically restart. This is a feature for many routers, so it makes things a little bit more challenging with your modem. You can either go and reboot it every few months whenever you think about it, or you can get fancy and get one of those electric timers that you plug into your outlet, and then you plug your modem into that outlet and it will power cycle on a given schedule that you choose. That might be a little bit overkill for this scenario, but just remember, once in a while, give your modem a reboot, and you're sure to have continued clean internet experiences as a result. If you have any questions about what we covered today, please drop a comment below. If you found this video insightful, please go ahead and like it. This will ensure that it gets shared with others who might benefit from it as well. And then lastly, if you like my content, if you like the way that I explain this information, please subscribe to the channel. There's surely going to be more content down the line that you find useful as well. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.